Hi, this is Karen with Karen Schultz Designs, and today I'm going to show you four ways to quickly and easily change the opacity of a Photoshop brush. Photoshop brushes are an extremely powerful tool. However, many Photoshop users don't realize how easy they are to edit. In this tutorial, I'll show you four different ways to quickly change the opacity of a brush. This tutorial was written using Adobe Photoshop 2021, but these methods work the same in Photoshop Elements. The first method we're going to use is with the opacity slider. Get the brush tool, and in the menu bar, click on the down pointing arrow to access the slider. Drag the slider to the left to decrease, and to the right to increase the opacity of your brush. Photoshop Elements users will use the opacity slider in the tool options. Method number two is what we call the scrubby slider method. Again, with the brush tool selected in the menu bar, hover your mouse over the word opacity and you'll see that my cursor has turned into a pointing finger. Left click and drag to the left to decrease and to the right to increase the opacity of your brush. In method number three, we will type in the percentage that we want. Again, with the brush tool selected, just highlight the opacity percentage and type in the percentage that you want on your keyboard. In method number four, we'll use the keyboard again, but we're going to be using some shortcuts. Again, get the brush tool. We'll be typing numbers on our keyboard to change the opacity in 10% increments. For example, I'll type the number 1 on my keyboard to get the opacity of 10%. I will type 2 if I want 20%. If I want an exact percentage, I can quickly type in two numbers. So let's say I want an opacity of 27%. I'll quickly type in the numbers 2, 7. Or if I want an opacity of 45, I'll quickly type in the numbers 4 or 5. And that's how easy it is to change the opacity of a Photoshop brush. I'm going to put a link to a PDF in the comments below. So if you'd like to print this out and keep it for handy reference, you can easily do that. Again, this is Karen Schultz with Karen Schultz Designs, and I hope you found this tutorial helpful.